future realm where the rhythmic beating of drums serves not only to create music but also to connect with the celestial and terrestrial realms. Here, age-old customs preserved and cherished through the ages elegantly intertwined with the contemporary world. It's a domain where reverence for older people, the strength of communal bonds and the knowledge gleaned from time-honored traditions continue to thrive. Welcome to Nigeria, a land of rich culture, deep traditions and untold stories waiting to be discovered. Today on African Heritage, we'll embark on a vivid journey through the hearts of Nigerian culture and traditions, from the vibrant festivals that bring entire communities to life, to the intricate and beautiful ways Nigerians celebrate birth, marriages, and deaths. This world is like no other. Whether you're Nigerian or exploring this great African nation for the first time, you'll understand the soul of Nigeria by the end of this journey. At the heart of Nigerian culture is an unshakable respect for family and elders. This is not merely a matter of courtesy, it's a deeply ingrained way of life, binding communities together and offering structure in society. When a Nigerian greets you, especially someone younger, greeting an elder, the depth of their respect is reflected in the act itself. In Yoruba culture, young men greet their elders by prostrating, lying flat on the ground, while young women kneel. This gesture isn't just a show of humility, but an acknowledgement of the wisdom and experiences of those who have walked before them. The Igbo and Awusa cultures, though different in their specifics, also hold respect for elders in the highest regard. In Igbo traditions, younger people bow slightly or touch the ground with one hand, and they also greet by bowing their heads or kneeling. This culture of respect extends far beyond family structures. It permeates business interactions, negotiations, and even casual conversations. One does not interrupt an elder while they speak, and one listens intently, valuing their words as pearls of wisdom. In Nigeria, respect isn't just taught, it is lived. From the way families gather during meals to the elaborate ceremonies to honor ancestors, respect is the invisible thread that weaves together the fabric of Nigerian culture. To understand Nigeria, you must experience its vibrant, colorful, and deeply spiritual festivals. Nigeria is a land of over 250 ethnic groups, each with its traditions, festivals and celebrations. These events are more than just social gatherings. They are a window into the soul of the people. Take the Oshun Oshogo Festival, for instance. This annual festival is celebrated in the city of Oshogo in honor of the river goddess Oshun, one of the Yoruba deities. Over 12 days, the city transforms into a spiritual haven where devotees offer prayers, make sacrifices, and engage in elaborate dances to celebrate fertility, purity, and a divine connection between humans and the natural world. The festival culminates at the sacred ocean grove, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where thousands gather to seek blessings from the goddess. In the northern part of Nigeria, the Dorba Festival showcases the grandeur of the Aosa Fulani people. This festival, often celebrated during El Afit and El Adar, is a striking display of horse riding, colorful costumes, and the rich Islamic heritage of northern Nigeria. The Emir, adorned in royal regalia, watches over as cavalry men parade in a show of strength, tradition, and unity. The Doba is more than just a spectacle. It's a reminder of the long history and cultural heritage of the Aosa Fulani people. The Igbo people also have their own unique festival called the New Yam Festival or Iriji. This festival is a Thanksgiving celebration to the gods for a bountiful harvest. It is also a time for communities to bond with traditional wrestling masquerade performances and dances taking center stage. The yam is a staple food for the Igbo and this festival is their way of honoring the earth's abundance. These festivals are an embodiment of Nigerian spirituality, cultural pride and community spirit. They bring together people of all ages and backgrounds, celebrating life in all its colors. Marriage is a sacred institution in Nigerian culture, one that goes beyond the union of two individuals. It's the joining of families, communities, and sometimes even tribes. Nigerian weddings are events of grandeur, deeply rooted in tradition and filled with rituals that have been passed down for centuries. Each ethnic group has unique marriage customs, but they all share the same core principle. Marriage is not just about love, it's about family. In Yoruba tradition, the groom and his family must first seek permission from the bride's family through an elaborate introduction ceremony known as the Momi Moe, which translates to know me 
me and let me know you. The groom's family presents gifts including wine, fruit and money as a sign of their intention. The bride's family in turn puts them through a series of tests to ensure they are the right fit. Similarly, the Igbo traditional wedding known as the Igbanku is a colorful event filled with music, dance and symbolic gestures. The bride prize is negotiated and the couple is surrounded by family members who offer advice, blessings and prayers for their future. One of the most captivating moments is when the bride, dressed in hard traditional attire, searches for a groom in the crowd and presents him with palm wine, signifying her acceptance of the union. For the Aousa, marriage is closely linked to Islamic tradition. The Fatiha is a religious ceremony in which an imam blesses the couple's union. What follows is an elaborate celebration with traditional Aousa music, food and dance. The bride is often adorned with intricate aina designs on her hands and feet, symbolizing beauty and joy. In Nigerian marriages, the community plays a significant role, reinforcing the importance of unity, support and continuity. If there is one thing that stands out in Nigerian culture, it's the beauty of its traditional attire. Clothes for Nigerians are more than just fabric. There is statement of identity, status and pride. The Yoruba Agbada, an oversized flowing gown often worn by men during special occasions, is a symbol of status and respect. The fabric ranges from simple cotton to luxurious silk with each piece telling the story of the wearer's wealth and prestige. Women in Yoruba culture wear iro and buba, a matching blouse and wrapper, often adorned with the air tie known as gele, which is tied in different elaborate styles depending on the occasion. In Igbo culture, the ishiago, a richly embroidered shirt often made from velvet, is worn by men during significant ceremonies. Women dress in beautifully adorned wrap and hair ties, with beads often completing the look. Beads, especially red coral, hold great significance in Igbo culture, symbolizing royalty, power, and divine connection. The Aosa people are known for their babanriga, a grand flowing robe worn by men. Women wear rich veils and long gowns, modest yet beautiful, often in vibrant colors. The Aosa are also known for their intricate leather work, reflecting their deep connection to craftsmanship and artistry. In Nigeria, clothing is a language of its own, telling stories of history, culture, and the person wearing it. Finally, no journey through Nigerian culture could be complete without tasting its food. Nigerian cuisine is a sensory explosion of flavors, colors, and textures that reflects the country's diversity. One of the most beloved dishes is jollof rice, a one-pot wonder made with rice, tomatoes, onions, and a blend of spices. This dish is so iconic that it has become a source of friendly rivalry across West Africa, with Nigerians fiercely claiming their version as the best. In the Southwest, the Yoruba people enjoy a malan iwedu, a starchy dish made from yam flour and paired with a slimy, nutritious soup made from jute leaves. This meal is often accompanied by begiri, a bean-based soup and a serving of assorted meat, creating a rich, satisfying dish. The Igbo are known for their ofe insala, a flavorful, peppery broth traditionally made with catfish or goat meat. The soup is served with pounded yam and its unique taste comes from the use of local spices like butazi leaves and uzuza seeds. They also have tsuwo shinkafa, a rice-based dish often served with mia kuka, a soup made from powdered baoba leaves or mia taoshe, a pumpkin-based soup. Their dishes are simple yet deeply satisfying, reflecting their agricultural roots. Nigeria food is a reflection of the country's rich agricultural bounty and the creativity of its people. Every dish tells a story, one that is as flavorful as it is diverse. As we draw this journey to a close, one thing is sure, Nigerian culture and traditions are alive vibrant and ever-evolving, from the respectful greetings and sacred ceremonies to the festive dances and flavorful food. Nigeria offers a cultural landscape as diverse as its people. This is a country where Asian traditions still sway in the modern world, where community and respect are the pillars of society. Join us next time as we continue to explore the rich heritage of Africa on African Heritage Channel. And remember, as we celebrate our past, we also shape our future. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next video.